Welcome to Leica GS07 Quick Start Video Number 5. This video focuses on getting network RTK corrections specifically through a Leica SmartNet connection. Starting with explaining the required preparation and our advice setup. Our advice is, wherever possible, to use Leica SmartNet for network RTK corrections. This could be using an existing account, a new account or a trial. In fact, a trial promo card is actually provided within the GS07 Quick Start package. This trial needs to be activated at trial.smartnetna.com and once registration is complete, a username and password will be provided via email. Of course, other network providers could be used, but for these, the full connection information is required, such as the server address and port. Now, no matter what license type an RTK network has used, the NTRIP username and password must be known, and if desired, they can be written into the Quick Start documentation. Our next step is to enter the network details into Leica Captivate. We start in the home screen, then we enter settings, followed by connections, then all other connections. We then need to make sure that the RTK rover is selected and press control. We're then able to click into the server to use to select or define the connection details of the server that will provide our network RTK corrections. With Leica SmartNet this is easy. We simply select SmartNet North America and then press edit to configure it. All we need to do here is modify the address, replacing the XX with our two digit area code, for example GA for Georgia. Once we have set this, then the address and port should be noted down in our documentation for future reference. With this done, we can move to the NTRIP page tab. Here, we can enter our NTRIP username and password to allow us to log into the RTK network. And then with this done, we can press store and our server is updated. If we needed to add additional servers for other areas or non-SmartNet networks, then this can be done by pressing the new button and filling in all of the details as provided by the RTK network operator. As we do not need to create a new server at this point, we can just press OK to confirm the selection. The final part of the configuration is to pick which mount point we will use. This can be done by pressing the source button, after which the software will connect to the server and check for available mount points. It is advised to find and select the mount point MSM underscore IMAX. Other mount points could be selected, but if they're not IMAX based, then some other settings will need to be changed. So it is advised to speak to technical support if this is required and instructions are not provided by your network operator. With the mount point set, it is advised to add this to the quick start documentation. With everything set and recorded, we can press OK to confirm all of our settings and then OK once again to return to the home screen. Our final step is to connect to the RTK network and check that our corrections are being received. So we should step outside and make sure that we have a position symbol at the top of our screen. Once we have that, we can tap on the RTK icon to bring up some related options. One of these is Start RTK Stream, so we will press that to connect to the network. We know we are connected because we get a connection message at the top of the screen. The arrow by the RTK icon starts to pulse. Our position icon changes to a precise RTK fixed position symbol and our quality values show RTK level accuracy. With this done, we can bring this video to a close. Thank you for watching.